and welcome to my channel! Before I get into the video, a little disclaimer. I did not actually do a full 24 hours of um, purely Poundland beauty. Basically, I wasn't due to leave the house at all today. Um, so I was like, it's all good, I can do this video. I started um, filming and stuff like that. And then I ended up having plans, so I have had to do my makeup and my hair. Um, so my makeup and hair products that you are seeing right now, they are not from Poundland. However, everything else that I use today up until this point has been from Poundland, and you're going to see all of that in the video. So in today's video, you are going to see me test out a full range of Poundland beauty products. Um, so I'm not touching on any makeup in this video. This is purely skincare and kind of daily, day-to-day -day products and a few kind of random um, one-off treatments as well thrown in there. So keep on watching and you'll see everything I picked up for a pound. So I hope you all enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Don't stop playing your guitar. Don't. Hi guys. Hi sisters. <laughs> so um, obviously I don't have any makeup on. My hair isn't done. Um, I've just been pottering around this morning. Um, and it is now like 11 o'clock I think. Yeah, so I've just been like doing a few bits of editing and stuff like that this morning. So we are obviously going to start off with shower products. So I'm not going to show you me in the shower because that's like weird and gross. <laughs> So the body wash I picked up from Poundland was this Luxury Coconut Breeze body wash. So it's vegan friendly and cruelty free, which is really good. So it smells really similar to um, the Treacle Moon, I'll pop it here, the Treacle Moon um, Coconut Body Wash, which is the one I normally use. And that's normally three or four pound. So a pound for a very similar smelling product is good. The only thing that is stressing me out a little bit about this is that obviously I have spray tans, I always have a tan on. Sometimes I find certain body washes can strip your tan back a little bit. So I'm hoping this is going to be gentle and it's not going to pull my tan off too much. So I also have a shampoo. Now this is called Stylist London for Blondes Brightening Shampoo. I usually use the John Frieda shampoo range for blonde hair. Um, what are you doing, Poundland? So I think this is supposed to be a dupe of this. So this is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Highlight Activating Shampoo. And then this is Stylist London for Blonde Brightening Shampoo. But the craziest thing is that these two products smell almost identical. I literally can't tell any difference, which is a little bit like, mm, this might make me really itchy. The John Frieda one, it's not expensive, but it's probably like five or six pound a bottle, whereas this was obviously a pound. So if it is the same thing, then... And then the last thing that I bought for showering with was the conditioner. Now, they didn't have much of a range of conditioners when I went into Poundland. This was one of the only ones that I could see, and it's Argan Oil Conditioner. I like really, like, fruity, tropical smells for body wash and shampoos. That just gives me old lady vibes. Jesus is the brand. Yeah, I feel like um, maybe invest more than a pound in your shampoo and conditioner, especially if your hair is colored, because that is like one of my pet hates is when people use like head and shoulders and then they message me like, oh my, my hair dye is fading. Well, you're stripping it out with your cheap shampoo, like use a color safe shampoo please thank you so i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna try this and i'm gonna try this all in the shower um and then i will come back and let you know what they are like obviously poundland does stock a lot of branded goods i've tried to pick up all of this stuff that i didn't recognize the brand of if they had like a branded option or like more of like a poundland brand option i would always try and go for the poundland option for the sake of this video because who wants to watch me trying like stuff you could buy anywhere Okay, so I have just had my shower. I look really nice. Obviously my hair is wet. What I want to do is see how it dries naturally so that I can kind of see how the shampoo and conditioner perform. The shampoo 
I literally couldn't tell the difference. Like, texture is the same, the colour is the same. The shampoo so far has had a thumbs up. It didn't make me itchy. I absolutely hate the conditioner. It literally smells like I'm about to get my pension. OAP vibes. The smell was so strong and so grandma-y. I was like, Bleh. Like, I, I I just, I couldn't. I had to wash it off straight away. It smelled so bad. So, yeah, I mean, if you're like a 60-year-old woman, go for it, hand. For me, I don't want to smell like I'm about to go and claim a pension. The body wash, um, this was nice. Whoa. This was nice. It's very similar to the, um, the one I was on about earlier, the Treacle Moon. But I would say it's quite watery in comparison, and my skin doesn't feel as like moisturized it does feel a little bit dried out so it's good for a pound when i was in poundland i couldn't find body lotion that wasn't like vaseline and i think they might have had nivea um but i specifically wanted like poundland type of brands the only poundland style brand moisturizer that i could get was this anti-aging day cream i'm gonna use this not only on my face but also on my body. So this is number six, anti-aging day cream. So the pot is like really basic. It just says number six. Ew! It doesn't smell very nice when it's on. Right, I'm gonna put my hair up. It's not gonna look cute. This video, I'm just going to look disgusting throughout the whole thing. But do you know what? We're just going to deal with it because I can't have a full face of makeup on when I'm trying to test skincare products. So I can't believe I'm about to be on the internet looking this disgusting. Cool. So my hair looks absolutely disgusting um, and I haven't got any makeup on. But we're just going to deal with it. Okay. So I'm just gonna pretend that's not happening because it's stressing me out too much. I'm gonna lather a load of this anti-aging face cream on my arms now. The cream, when it's on, actually feels quite nice. I don't like the smell, but that's personal preference. I'm not gonna put any of this on my face yet because I have got some other face products that we're gonna be testing out first, but I will be putting this on my face later. But I thought because I've just had a shower, I needed to moisturize my body they didn't have a cleanser the closest thing i could find to a cleanser was a micellar cleansing water so this is once again from the number six brand these pads are not from poundland they are from primark um i just forgot to buy pads to be honest so it, it smells a little bit chemically it's not i wouldn't say it smells like alcohol and it does say on the bottle that it's alcohol free but it definitely has a chemically smell I don't know if you can see on the pad, but it has taken off a little bit of my tan. But that always happens when I cleanse. It always lifts out a little bit of your fake tan. But that does tell me that as a micellar water, it is doing its job. It is kind of cleansing and pulling something out. So it has lifted a little bit of my tan. So that's a good thing. This is once again from the number six range this is a anti-aging collagen woven face mask this is where i'm starting to get a bit like mm, concerned if i'm gonna break out it's usually because of a face mask that smells really strong like nail varnish remover why is it so wet i'm literally getting major major breakout vibes from this already oh my god it's so small who is this made for Ew! Oh my god, oh my god, this is honestly so difficult. Why is the forehead so small? Hello? Ew. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this on for like 15 minutes. It smells so strong. It's kind of burning. It's said to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes, but my skin is honestly like... Is it taking my tan off? Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had a face mask that burns this much. I need to get this off. Right, I'm gonna go and wash my face. I'm scared. And I oops. For one, I want to just start off by saying like, that hurt. <laughs> like literally, so I've just gone and washed off the residue from that face mask. I left it on for five minutes. They said to leave it for 20. My face stings so much. I don't know 
what is in that? Maybe I might be allergic, but oh my god, it stings. I do not recommend. Okay, so moving on from the horrific face mask, <laughs> I feel like this is just gonna keep going downhill. So this is anti-aging collagen filler from Poundland. It doesn't say how to use, it just it just says it's a filler. Like, it doesn't have any directions. It doesn't smell of anything. So I get bad smile lines, as you will know if you've watched my channel. So that's where I'm gonna try and put this. It has no directions. Do you think you can use this on your lips? I'm assuming this is a product you need to use like over time to see if it's gonna work. I think you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna put it on my lip. Don't really know what else I can say about that, to be honest. It didn't have any any instructions. It doesn't smell of anything. I just think, I feel like it's just like a moisturizer in a tube, to be honest. Now that I've done my skincare regime, we're gonna put some of the moisturizer from earlier, the number six moisturizer, on my face, which is still stinging because of that nasty sheet mask, which was made from like bleach or something. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this Moisturizer. Oh my god, it smells so strong. Why? 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 Obviously as well, this isn't my usual backdrop situation. Um, I've actually just set you up the other way around. So my usual backdrop is behind you. Um, and this is obviously my bed. The reason I did that was because I was expecting to be like walking around and, and doing more like vlog style. Um, however, I've now in this late stage of the video come to the realization that i'm probably not actually going to move from this spot for the entire video so you're welcome i don't think i'm going to switch to it purely for the fact that i don't like the smell but yeah it feels quite nice on your face and it feels quite light i don't know how kind of moisturizing it's going to be though because it does feel very light this is the Absolute White Whitening Pen, so this is obviously a teeth whitening pen. I've done a lot of teeth whitening in the past. I've used the pens, I've used the trays, the gels, the strips. I've done pretty much all of the different ways of whitening your teeth. Um, and because of that, I have now got very sensitive teeth. If you are someone who wants white teeth, please, I urge you, do not overuse whitening products because I massively abused teeth whitening products and my teeth are very sensitive from it now. Because of that, I haven't whitened my teeth in probably a couple of years. I haven't whitened my teeth for a long time now because I'm worried that it's gonna increase sensitivity. Yeah, let's just get into it. So I was also quite shocked to see a teeth whitening pen for a pound, which does make me question how well this is gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna go and clean my teeth and then we're gonna give this a try. Oh, guys, rough. I've just cleaned my teeth and thrown on a jumper because I'm freezing. So I'm now gonna try this whitening pen. It's got like these little bristles. So it said to just crank it up until the gel comes through, just starting to come through the top there. So then it says to basically just paint this gel. Okay, so I have just finished applying this uh, whitening gel to my teeth. My teeth feel like they are, they feel really like, I don't know if there's any difference in color, um, but yeah, they feel real sensitive right now, so I'm like, mm. I feel like I'm talking so weird. This would probably be fine if you had normal teeth, but my teeth are really sensitive. And then the last product that I have today, strawberry lip balms. So it's, oh, it's very soft. Sometimes I feel like you have to really work lip balms, especially when they're new ones, to kind of get them to go nice and creamy. But this one has gone really smooth, really quick. These smell really nice. I definitely would recommend these. Sometimes lip balms can feel a bit sticky, but yeah, these feel really, really nice and they smell nice as well. And the fact that you get three for a pound is insane, because I usually use like Burt's Bees and that's obviously quite expensive. So I definitely would recommend these. But I forgot I didn't show you um, the kind of dry results from the shampoo and conditioner. So this is how my hair is looking. 
Um, I didn't use any products or anything like that in it. It was literally just the shampoo and conditioner. I can still smell the conditioner really strong, so people are gonna think I'm like old lady vibes. So yeah, without further ado, I'll leave you all with this outro. It is now the end of the day, um, and I've just filmed my intro, which you'd obviously have seen at the start. So yeah, it is now the end of the day, um, and I did use Poundland products all the way up until I had to get ready to go out. So it wasn't a full 24 hours, but it was basically a whole day of Poundland products. So that is everything for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. If you did enjoy watching today's video, please don't forget to give me a massive like and subscribe down below. If you know any family or friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share it with them as well. And if you have any comments regarding this video or any other content you would like to see from me, leave me a comment down below. And without further ado, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.